Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is Ubiquiti's first entry into their Ultra lineup. So you might be asking yourself, what is the Ultra lineup? Well, it is a line of Ubiquiti gear that comes in at a lower price point. And it is to help not only, you know, folks that are watching this video that might have a need for some lower cost access points, but also to help bring technology to areas of the world that might be quite a, quite a bit behind the rest of us. And that is due to how technology gets there and price is a huge one of those. So what you're gonna see in this AP is gonna come in at about $109 US. And this is could be a game changer. So let's take a look at what we get in the box. So the first thing you get obviously is the access point. I do have this hooked up and ready to adopt into our controller. On the back of the access point, you get the pipe mount and the mount that will actually mount to the wall. And I'll show you the other part of this mount, but this slides into the device like this. And then you can either run the provided zip ties. So it does come with the zip ties through it. Or you can then mount it to a drop ceiling tile or other, you know, surface where you need to sandwich these together. It also comes with the mounting guide. So you've got a level on the top. I don't know if you can see that or not. Level, you've got your screw holes, and then you've got your hole for your Ethernet cable. So every company should include those mounting templates or at least have them be printable. I like the ones that come with the level. Um, that way you know whether you're half a bubble off or not, right? Then you get all kinds of screws and a set screw to go with it. And then you get a little quick start guide. So I could see myself actually using this in a warehouse scenario. It is two by two for both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. It is uh, IPX6 rated, and you could use this in a warehouse. You could use it outside under an eave. And let's see if I can pop the top off here. Uh, there, it's connectorized. What do I mean, mean by that? Well, the top of it has these two holes. Uh, can I get a little focus? There we go. Uh, where you can use standard SMA, and they will be releasing an omnidirectional external antenna for this, and they'll also be releasing like a patch antenna. Now, I have been playing around with this, and this is one of my antennas from the mesh units, and this does work fine with this unit, but they are going to have some lower cost ultra antennas coming out to match this. So what do you get on the unit? Uh, there are no ethernet lights on the, the plug, and I'm assuming that is to help keep that cost down. You've got your set, set screw uh, hole there, the factory reset button. You have to dismount it to get to it, which is not necessarily a bad thing. So it is PoE powered, or you could use, you know, a PoE injector. The max power transmit on the, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz is 20 dBm. And the antenna gain from the built-in antenna is 6 dBi. Like I said, it is, it does have the internal patch, the internal patch antenna inside this, but it is also connectorized so that we can put those on there. The You can see right now that the LED is, is white. So once we adopt this, that should turn blue. Now they are saying that you can have 200 connected devices and they are billing this as the Swiss Army Knife Ultra. Like I said, it is the first um, in the release of the Ultra line. I, I believe we will see more devices. Also, if you haven't been on the internet for a while with things related to Ubiquity, uh, they did announce this line, but not in the United States. So the original announcement came from, I believe, a South American conference. And as a creator, uh, I was lucky enough for them to send this to me so we could take a look at it because I can see us using a $109 
$110 access point all over the place, especially with it being connectorized. And it's very, very versatile. So let's get this thing adopted into the controller. You can see it's showing up right here for adoption. I'm going to go ahead and adopt it. And while that's adopting, I'm going to put this box away. It is getting ready. You can see I now have a blue. I don't know how good that shows up, but that's that, that light is definitely blue. And I think this is, I, I don't think that Ubiquity is going to be alone in this trend. I think you are going to start seeing a whole host of uh, lo lower cost devices to, to help bring places in the world up to technological standards because technology can definitely, yes, it has some downsides, but it can definitely make your life easier. It can make you more efficient. It can help you learn. And when education is readily available, it is proven time and time again, the quality of life goes up, right? So all these equipment manufacturers who are going to help, you know, uh, what do they say? Uh, rising tides lift our boats, right? Or many, many hands make light work. So we're all in this, we're all in this together. And this accessible technology, I think could be definitely a game changer. All right. So here is our UK ultra. You can see right now, zero clients, but we do remember it's only a two by two, Wi-Fi 5, and that, you got to remember that that is going to help bring the actual cost of these down, not putting Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, or Wi-Fi 7 in these devices will help keep that cost down for kind of the target audience of the device. All right, so what else do we got going on here? You get the same stats as we do in every other device. We can see that it's plugged into my Flex XG port 2. Let's take a look at the settings real quick. So here we can change the name. Now here is where we were talking about that antenna. So we can do the built-in antenna, the Omni antenna, the panel antenna, or custom. Now, obviously, I don't have anything plugged into the connectorized, and I don't know if, and I'm assuming that the Omni and the panel, since those are going to be released in the Ultra line, I'm assuming that those are going to have some presets in there. Now, the custom, you have to have, to do the custom antenna on this, you have to have the professional installer option selected under settings in your controller. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, don't do it and work with, with someone else. Now, they'll tell you right here, if we change the antenna type to a custom antenna type, that it can perfect performance, damage your AP, and risk non-compliance with regulatory standards like the FCC. Proceed at your own risk. I'm going to cancel that for now because I I don't want to turn this on, the connectors on necessarily, without uh, having anything connected to it. So you can see the internal antenna gain here is 6 dBi. Right now everything's auto, so this thing is just sitting here screaming at me. Got min RSSI. We've got meshing. We've got what else? Uh, band steering, we can set static IPs on it. So you get a lot of the features. The only thing that's missing is the, the newer technology, and that was purposeful with the with the Ultra line. So it's going to be interesting to see where these go, especially at that price point. And if you want to know more about this AP, ask me down in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. We can help you with your warehouse wireless projects or any other wireless projects, voice over IP, storage, security, all those good things. If we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. That's our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. I'm very, very interested to see where this ultra line is going. I hope you are too. So join me uh, on our journey as these devices get released, hopefully, all year. And, uh, and as always, I'm Willie, and I'll see you in the next video.